Hey guys, it's Jake, and in today's video, we're gonna take a deeper look into why people in New Orleans, Louisiana are buried above ground, and also why people from the same family are usually buried in the same tomb after they've passed. Well, let's dive in. New Orleans is known for its nightlife, whether that is Mardi Gras or Bourbon Street. New Orleans gets credit for being the birthplace of jazz, so as you walk around the city, live music is a big thing. New Orleans is considered a melting pot of French, African, Caribbean, and American cultures. But it is also rich in voodoo history because religious followers fleeing Haiti after the 1791 slave revolt moved to New Orleans. And it is also home to famous and unusual cemeteries and crypts. A crypt is a burial spot built to hold a casket in a concrete or stone chamber. And that is what we're gonna take a look at today. Throughout this city, you'll find distinctive graveyards known as a city of the dead. They have earned that name because the tombs look like buildings and sometimes the cemeteries are organized with streets and street signs. The tombs were built out of necessity because New Orleans was built on wet, swampy lands that is slightly below sea level. When early European settlers put coffins underground, the water level would rise and since the coffins were filled with air, the water pushed them up through the earth. To keep the coffins underground, holes were drilled in the lid to let air out, and the coffins were weighed down with rocks and sand. But this only worked partially, and the bodies did not decompose properly. The only solution they had was to bury the dead above ground. The first cemetery in New Orleans designed for above ground burial was the St. Louis No. 1 Cemetery which opened in 1789. But with New Orleans hot subtropical climate, the tomb effectively becomes an oven and the high heat causes the body to decompose rapidly in a process that has been compared to a slow cremation. Within about a year, only bones are left. Just as an oven doesn't bake a single loaf of bread, the tombs in the New Orleans cemeteries are used again and again. The specifics vary depending on the exact design of the tomb, but a typical scenario is that after a year, the bones of the deceased are swept into an opening in the floor of the tomb and is ready for the next occupant. It is common to bury all the members of a family or multiple families in the same tomb with names and dates added to a plaque or headstone as necessary. 
This procedure is not only sanitary and efficient, it also avoids the problem of growing real estate needs as time goes on. A local ordinance in New Orleans says that as long as a family member in a vault has been dead for two years or more, the remains can be moved to a bag placed in the side of or at the back of the vault and the coffin can be destroyed. And then at that point, another family member can be laid to rest in that vault. You may ask, what happens if a family member dies before the previously deceased family member's two years waiting period is over? Well, local cemeteries created temporary holding vaults to keep the bodies and then can move them to the final resting place after the two years have passed. Some random interesting facts. St. Louis number one cemetery is rumored to be where Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen, was laid to rest. And currently the actor Nicolas Cage has a tomb there for when he passes. In New Orleans, the Archdiocese oversees the cemeteries, but the majority of the tombs are individually owned by families who are responsible for their maintenance and upkeep. St. Louis Cemetery No. 2 was built in 1823 and is the resting place for two iconic jazz and blues musicians. Thanks so much for watching and hope you guys found it as interesting as I did when I first learned about it. If you guys can do me a huge favor, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It just lets YouTube know that people like the video and it will get shared with more people. And if you guys want to be around for when I post my next video, then do not forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for information about New Orleans or to see what I did when I was there, those links are down in the description. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.